mind the inky hand. I've been, um, <laughs> inky hand, get it? Because I'm Inky Quill. Sorry, what's up? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here today with a haul. Now, don't laugh at me, but I've put myself on a budget. I know. I've put myself on a scrappy budget. Don't know how it's going to last, but we'll see. January's already failed. <laughs> So I had a budget for January and I spent it at Spotlight on the new Hello Love crepe paper stuff. And then my local scrapbooking store have 50% off store wide, store wide and you can't like not do that, can you? So I went to Pages to Scrap and I bought some things and I met up with my new friend Rachel. Shout out to Rachel! And um, Rachel was on the scrap stream and we were chatting and then I said I was going to head to Pages to Scrap on Monday. And you know when you just click with someone and it just just works? Rach and I, best buds now. Oh, we really are. And we're going to do some scrapbooking together. And I'm super excited because I never scrap with anyone. Um, so, shout out to my girl Rachel. And let's, let me show you what I got. So, did boring first. Page protectors. 8.5 by 11. Yeah, 8.5 by 11 for my... 9 by 12 album and I know they probably don't have the right holes because Sherry Calico decided to change their holes in their rings all the time um, but that's cool I can change it I can punch my own holes so I got those then hmm let's show you let, let me show you some stencils now keep in mind I only went up for some mists and some distress stains yeah that wasn't ever going to work so I bought this stencil it's a Dina Wakely one and it says something about doing what you want to do with your inner voice and stuff. And I saw it last time and I really liked it. So it was $10 reduced to five. Bargain. Then I got this one and it's like, it's like a train map, but it also reminds me of a circuit board. Um, and I thought this would be good for Aaron to use too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it's, I think it's meant to be a tray mat, but that's really cool. Six by six size. Also got this city scape one. Um, I thought this would look gorgeous along the bottom of an art journal page. Just imagine that, imagine it. Um, and for also some of, I want to make some mixed media project life cards as well um, for when we went to Sydney. Then I got, oh, let's, this is a bit random, this one, a bit random. Don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but I couldn't resist it. It is from Pop Quiz. Is that the brand? I don't know. But it's a life journal that's uh, a bit bigger than a A5 size, and it's got tabs and then it's got all of these pages there's a better look at them and I just thought it would be very cool to do a art journaly memory keeping thing with and even if I don't use it it was, it was reduced like half price it was only $12 um, even if I don't use it for what it's intended for the quality of the cardstock is really good and the tabs are already cut for me so I can always manipulate it into some other art journal projects. So I got that and some all different types of paper to go with it. So we'll see. We'll see. That might be a new project if I ever finish all my other projects. Is anyone else like that? Do you have like a million freaking projects going at the same time? Because I do. I do. And I need to stop doing that to myself but I'm I'm going good look I'm already I'm caught up except for this week with project life go team yeah. uh, which is exciting it's the first time I can say I've been caught up for a while anyway back to the haul you don't want to listen to me blab about how behind and failure I am at my projects I got some stamps I was on a bit of a number kick this one's a dilutions one and it's just got some lovely numbers, lovely letters, lovely spots, <laughs> lovely diamonds. 
Um, I thought these two would be great for backgrounds and you can never go wrong with letters and numbers in my opinion. And I don't have any letters or numbers stamps. I have stencils, but not stamps. And I've been eyeing this off for a while, but I didn't want to pay $35 because in my opinion that's ridiculous for a stamp. So got it when I was on special. I also got these little bingo numbers, which are really cute. And I thought they'd be really sweet scattered on a, um, a scrapbook page or an art journal page. And I just love bingo numbers. I really do. I have a pack of the Tim Holtz ones. And I don't know what I'm ever going to use them for because they're quite chunky. Um, but I just freaking love them. I've just got them in a little bowl. Just, just looking at the numbers. Such a freaking nerd. <laughs> Then this one I had been eyeing off for a well uh, for a while as well, not for a well. Words. Look guys, I'm gonna be real with you, okay? I'm on school holidays and as a teacher, I don't use my words in holidays. It's it's the time where my words take a break and I don't think about the words coming out of my mouth. So getting words jumbled up is just my voice on holidays really. So this one is another Dina Wakely thing and they're just little fashiony girls. This was $40 but I paid $20 and I was umming and ahhing about it for ages because $20 for a stamp is still it's a bit like that. Um, tell me in America are stamps this expensive? $40? Like, I, but it was pretty and I thought it's a very versatile stamp and you get three images that you can use and you get a couple of words as well and I know I could draw that but I just thought it would probably make me do more art journaling if I've got the stamp already there. I don't know I just freaking liked it. <laughs> so I grabbed this paintbrush. It's another I went on a bit of a Dina Wakely thing unknowingly. Um, it was only four dollars so it's a bargain. It's a big one. It's called a one inch flat brush. I got two of them, but I've already cracked one open. Then I got some, what I intended to get. I got these three alcohol inks from Adirondack. I love that name, Adirondack. Um, and they are Pink Sherbet Pool and Raspberry. Why does raspberry have a P in it? Raspberry. I always go to call it raspberry. I'm going to call it raspberry from now on. Raspberry is my favourite. I did a bit of a project using them. A bit of a, um, a bit of a, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it's a technique that for my mixed media class that will be coming up soon. And it's a fun one. And it's so easy. Like. It's just, it's ridiculously easy and Aaron even had a go and he enjoyed it too. So they're for a special project. Then, the real thing I went to get were some distress stains because I want to use them. I've been watching um, Courtney from The Little Ink and I love the way she uses them in her traveller's notebook and I wanted to do that too. So <laughs> I wanted to get some but they only had pooey colours. Not pooey but I wanted a nice hot pink and a turquoise and... Um, they didn't have them. All the nice colours had been gone because it's 50% off. So I got the best I could. I got Tattered Rose. So these, if you haven't used these before, they're, um, I'll crack one open. Will I? Oh, they don't have a teary thing. No, I won't tear one open. But they've just, it's just ink. Same as in your mist bottle. Um, and then you take the lid off and it's got like a dauber on the top. So you can just smear it on and it just smears the colour on. It looks like watercolour and it's just it's beautiful. So I got Tattered Rose, Spun Sugar, which is one of my favourite colours, Abandoned Coral, Stormy Sky. That was the best blue I could get. And Evergreen Bow. So not the colours I wanted, but except for Spun Sugar, but I'll have a look somewhere else and find some good colours and then I only got one distress ink tumbled glass because I didn't have a light blue and 
I got three sprays. I got um, the Dilution Slate Grey. I got After Midnight, which is a really nice, like, purpley, bluey, dark, niceness colour. Um, and then Pure Sunshine. Because I thought this was a nice to mix with the bright, bright yellow that I've got. Um, this is kind of like a, a softer orangey yellow. So... That's it that's my haul from pages to scrap um, overall pretty happy with what I've got I am disappointed that the one thing that I went up there for I couldn't get my hands on which was frustrating but that's what happens when sales are on um, but yeah so stay tuned for some projects using these soon I will be doing my art journal flip very soon um, if you haven't subscribed to my other channel let's get inky you might want to subscribe over there because I'll be using a lot of my new products over there to do some art journaling and some mixed media techniques and things. Uh, also, Aaron and I have another channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad, where we do vlogs and we're funny and stuff. So if you want to subscribe over there, we'd really like it, like it, like it, like it. Um, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! I tried to get a bunny to join me in this video. And they ran away. They know when I'm about to drag them into video mode, especially Frida. She's very twitchy today. She's like, twitch, twitch. On that note, I'm going to leave you with the twitchy rabbit and go, bye.